The Royal Tenenbaums was my very first Wes Anderson movie, and also my very first exposure to film aesthetic. Up until that point, I had watched movies merely for their spectacle, not really their substance. In almost every scene, Anderson uses symmetry, negative space, or a color palette to draw you in. These techniques are used beautifully throughout the film. So much so that at least to me, you could watch the film on silent and still follow along with the narrative. Be it with Royal's dismissal from the house in the beginning, or Richie's somewhat incestuous relationship with his adopted sister, Margot. Those scenes are prime examples of what Wes Anderson does so well. A good narrative paired with beautifully symmetrical and muted color cinematography. I dare you to watch the movie without sound though, and try to see what I mean. Take, for example, the scene involving Richie's suicide attempt. After finding out Margot's sordid past, Richie tries to kill himself. Now, this scene is already played out beautifully with Elliot Smith's Needle in the Hay soundtrack. But if you were to mute that, and just watch, it's almost even more haunting. Anderson doesn't show the cutting, which is important, because it lends to the idea that Richie doesn't feel it. Just only the memories of Margot and his childhood are at the forefront of this whole act. Just the few scenes I've highlighted in this video pale in comparison to the movie as a whole. Of course, if it's your first time seeing it, then please watch the film with sound. If not for Alec Baldwin's smooth narration, then for the soundtrack itself. If you've never seen The Royal Tenenbaums or even a Wes Anderson film, I highly recommend it. A lot of Wes Anderson buffs would say you should ease into his filmography with either Rushmore or Bottle Rocket, or even The Life Aquatic. But for me, the Royal Tenenbaums is an excellent starting point into Wes Anderson's aesthetic. It leads you fluidly into his more stylistic work, like Moonrise Kingdom, or the Grand Budapest Hotel. Whatever your starting point, the Royal Tenenbaums to me is so quintessential, so beautifully laid out, that you could simply enjoy it with the sound off.